Hey, I'm Nick Rollo. I'm a producer and mix engineer. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how I use auto-tune in Studio One, including how I find the key of the song. If you find this helpful, hit the like button, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell, all that fun stuff. I'm in the process of making a bunch of presets for producers for Studio One. They'll be available soon. Comment below if you're keen to get those. Things like drum buses, mix bus slash master bus, guitar things, whatever you want, comment below. I can figure that stuff out for you. And yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so the song that I'm working on is a track that I've made and I'm singing on. The singing isn't great. I'll show you what it is. <laughs> Stuck up in my room I don't know what to do When I can't be next to you It's like I'm living on the moon I'm riding in the room I don't know what to do When I can't be next to you You get the vibe so autotune can be used in any genre, as we probably know. A lot of people use it in like trap and hip hop, but it's in pop, it's in rock, it's everywhere. So to clarify, I've used, um, I've melodyned these vocals beforehand. Just my my personal practice is I like to melodyne vocals and then use autotune on top of that if I want the vibe. You don't necessarily need to use melodyne. Um, you can just use autotune. Autotune is really capable of catching everything. I just find for a more natural sound, using the two in conjunction is really helpful. Also, you can use any of the various vocal tuning softwares. There's Auto-Tune, there's Waves Tune, there's like Slate Tune, there's Crispy Tune with like Plugin Alliance. There's plenty. Um, they're all really good. You know what? Let's just turn this off. Let's click this button here. This turns off Melodyne. So I'm using UAD Antares Auto-Tune real-time. This is an older one. Uh, it's not like the, the Auto-Tune Pro, but it works just great. So let's listen to it. Like I'm living on the moon. I'm riding in my room. So it's doing pretty, it's doing a lot of work. It's like I'm living on the moon. I'm riding in my room. I don't know what to do when I can't be next to you. So it's not catching everything. Obviously, I had Melodyne before that's turned off right now. Before we get into it though, <clears throat> if you're producing the song yourself, an incredible feature of Studio One is that you can detect the chords and you can also detect the key. So to do this, I've got a chord file here, uh, this file here. So we right click it, detect key signature, which is in instrument parts, and then detect key signature, which happens to be E flat. I've already done this. So when I go to auto tune here, just make sure it's E flat and major because it's not minor and you're off if you don't have the chord so if you're like a singer or a rapper and you have just an instrumental or a beat you it's a bit harder you can detect chords and then you can try and figure that out yourself you can play a piano and just hit a note try to find the key or you can use software to detect it some really good software that i like to use quite often is called it's called crispy scale it comes with crispy tuner um, if you're subscribed to plugin alliance uh, it comes with that i think there's a, a few other various pieces of software but this is really good so you just we'll just loop this and we'll click detect scale you have to play it though and let's hope it's also e flat <laughs> I was about to lose my mind, but I remembered a bit of music theory. D sharp major is the same as E flat major. So we're good. So that is how you can figure out the scale. And crispy scale works on the master. So if you put it on the mix bus or the master bus, whatever you want to call it, it'll also figure out the scale. But yeah, we get into this auto tune. The main things for this, and I'm pretty sure the settings are basically the same for all of them. Um, for auto tune, tracking is just... If it's relaxed, it's gonna catch everything. Um, this is good if like it's headphones. You probably want it to be more choosy if there's other sounds like a guitar or something because it might start tuning the wrong things. For this, it's pretty it's pretty good. You can hear a bit of background, so we'll keep it at 50. Retune speed is really how fast it's gonna catch stuff. Um, this will make it sound more or less tuned. 
the correction style. The classic is just like really auto tune. The flex tune kind of is a bit more natural to my ears. I tend to have it here when I'm doing my vocals or natural vocals. If you want it to sound, uh, if you want that like auto tune sound, you probably want it to be, you know, more over this side of the dial. And humanize, again, just makes it feel more human. I feel like it, it tries to smooth out uh, note movements. But yeah, let's go crazy with it. I'm riding in my room I don't know what to do I'm riding in my room I just want to find a good speed so it doesn't wobble too much I don't know what to do When I can't be next to you okay, So get rid of the vibrato I'm riding in my room I don't know what to do when I can't be next to you So it keeps missing a note there Don't know what to do When I can't be next to you So it's going up a little bit too much So we need to figure that out Don't know what to do When I can't be next to you Don't know what to do When I can't be next to you So that catches it a little bit more We could figure out what note that is which I can just quickly do here in Melodyne. Don't know what to do when I can't be next. So it's trying to be a D flat, but it needs to be a C. And I don't actually play, I don't really hit any D flats. If you know the scale, you can just make this chromatic and then remove the notes that you don't need. In this case, that would actually be helpful because I could get rid of the D flat or the C sharp, this note here. This is why I like to use Melodyne so that you can just pull those kind of notes down just to make sure it doesn't do anything weird and then you still get the nice vibe. Um, I feel like they're really good in in unison. On the moon, I'm riding in my room. I don't know what to do when I can't be next to you. could also just be sung better but yeah the way that i like to keep it fairly chill is i find kind of 23 24 just above 20 tracking mids to high depending on the actual audio file i like flex tune and i like to humanize quite a lot it's like i'm living on the moon i'm riding in my room but there's a vibe there but it's not too much i don't know what to do might want to go harder because as you can hear it's not catching everything so that's where i then use the secondary piece of software um that's just my method for it you can definitely do a lot of things if you're like mumble rapping and stuff like you can get away with whatever you want or just rap if it's less like melodic like this it, it can do some really really sick stuff if it's more like actual rapping compared to singing but yeah i hope you found this helpful if you did hit the like button hit subscribe and i will catch you in another video have a good one